Assalamu alaikum and good day everyone. My name is Fatin Shamila Cheyo, a postgraduate candidate from University Selangor. For this conference, I will be presenting a summary of the scoping review that my team and I have conducted, which focuses on factors affecting teachers' well-being during the pandemic. As we as we all are experiencing now, the sudden outbreak of the pandemic COVID-19 leaves significant effect to everyone, including adults who are working in education sector. The current uncertain condition urged those in power to construct methods that could cater to the current living environment. Concentrated to the education sector, as a measure to curb the pandemic outbreak, distance and online learning have been exercised throughout the world replacing the traditional learning, or we could say as classroom learning or face-to-face -face learning. However, the sudden changes are not always a good thing as some downside also surfaces as teachers are not prepared and equipped with preparation and adequate knowledge in which then affecting teachers' well-being. In line with the teachers' well-being, the current living environment acts as the additional stresses that could greatly influence teachers' well-being as even the even, the, even before the pandemic happened, it has also been known that teachers have been categorized as one of the most stressful profession. In the current time, teachers are exposed to high emotional stress due to their responsibilities at work and home. With the increasing workload, teachers are bound to have lesser time with their families and prone to have difficulties in working from home. And a scoping review was conducted in order to find out the factors affecting teachers' well-being during the pandemic. This study adapted a methodological framework by Axie and O'Malley, which consists of five steps, starting from identifying the research question, identifying relevant studies, study selection, charting the data, and collecting, summarizing, and reporting the results. So for each step, we are going to see how this framework helped to finalize the relevant articles for the scoping review. The first step of this method is identifying the research question, which is the foundation of the research as it determines the focus of the study. As we can see here, six research questions are constructed. The research questions can be used to direct the next step of the method. So once research questions are created, study has to identify relevant studies by inserting the search string in selected databases. The search string helps to zoom in to related studies that can be used as reference in the scoping review. For this scoping review, there are three different search strings used for the three databases, namely Scopus, WS, and also ERIC. Following the second process, study selection is where the inclusion and exclusion criteria are included in order to suit the focus of the study. This process helps to specify the articles that, be, that could be used for the scoping review. In total, uh, there are three, there are seven inclusion and exclusion criteria that have been set for the study. Result feature during this process help to find articles that can suit the purpose of the scoping review. Then one, after the study has been narrowed down based on the inclusion and exclusion criteria, data is charted into the following diagram. From the first identification process, each of the stages to finalize the relevant studies should be inserted in the designated columns. Then the process of search for articles could clearly be visible to both authors and readers. After the four steps of the framework, data from the 10 finalized articles are summarized and recorded according to the following elements in the literature matrix. As you can, as you can see it here, all elements are answering the research questions, but importantly, this, this scoping review is focusing on the factors affecting teachers' well-being. So all the factors are highlighted in this red box, as you can see here. And then moving on uh, to answer the research questions, the results of the scoping review refer to the summary of the 10 articles in the literature matrix. The first research question, the distribution of the studies are based on the year and the country. The, the first one, the bar graph showed that the two articles were published in 2020, while the other eight 
uh, studies were published in 2021. And in terms of the country, uh, the, there were two articles from Canada and the rest of the articles were from, from various parts of the world. Next is the is research question two, where the study design are put into three categories. As you can see from the slides here, six articles apply quantitative studies, while the other two studies apply the qualitative studies. And on top of that, there were two studies that integrated mixed method. So in answering the third question is, the purpose of the 10 studies were generally summarized into four categories. From the table here, four studies are aim to discover the teacher's profession or occupational well-being during the pandemic. Besides, there were two studies that uh, try to determine the teacher's stress level during the pandemic and three studies uh, aim to investigate the causes of teachers' burnout and only one study that aim to discover the early childhood educators' emotional state during the pandemic. So as, the, as this uh, scoping review, review emphasizing on the factors affecting the teacher's well-being, research question four categorized the factors into eight categories, uh, which includes psychological issues, life management, enormous workload, teacher's knowledge, teacher's knowledge on technology, school closure, health issue, other related social issues, and lastly is the financial issues. And for research question five, in line with the study design in research question two, research which apply quantitative method adopted and adapted survey questionnaire. Generally, the survey questionnaire is varied according to the needs of the studies. As for the qualitative method, the three studies use inter there are three studies that use interviews as a way to collect their data and fulfill their study purposes. And however, the mixed method studies integrated both survey questionnaire and interviews. Uh, significantly, scoping review found out that there is one study that does not include any instrument or ways to collect their data. And the last uh, research question, research question six, is trying to show the current conditions of teachers' well-being. And in this, with the factors affecting teachers' well-being, studies found that the pandemic worsens the teachers' well-being, but in one way, in one way, the new way of teaching and learning, as well as satisfaction towards the teachers' ability, could help the teachers to maintain their well-being. Um, this scoping review also found out that the few studies stated teacher that few studies stated that teachers' well-being is depending on the teacher approach and teacher's coping strategy in order to mitigate the effect of the pandemic. Moving on to the discussions of the study, the outcomes of this scoping review discovered that teachers' well-being are not solely affected by the stress during the pandemic, but and also it is important to know that a high stress level could lead to burnout and anxiety that consequently affecting teachers' well-being, whether or not it becomes positive or negative. From the scoping review, various factors that lead to stress, including excessive workload, lack of support, and limited resources to support learning. Additionally, uh, building resilience could also help the teachers to overcome or cater to the stressful environment, which then help to maintain their well-being or could avoid their well-being from getting worse. Significantly, teachers' resilience not only important for teachers, but able to enhance their teaching quality teach uh, the teacher-student relationship as well as the student school achievement. Uh, lastly, in a nutshell, the outbreak of pandemic COVID-19 notably affect teachers' well-being. However, the current environment could not be stigmatized to have only negative effect as some teachers were discovered to have positive well-being depending on the capa capability of the teachers to mitigate the situation. With that, I end my presentation. Thank you for listening. Have a great day, everyone.